Caroline 22 mummy to two girls Ruby and Lucy and if you don't know me already then I'm from the mother bird blog family channel on YouTube so I'd love it if you could subscribe and come join the mother bird blog family the rug doctor recently approached me and asked me to give the rug doctor a review so I thought hun that's got my name written all over it so I jumped at the chance I've heard of Rug Doctor before because my sister hired one out and she cleaned her living room. So I knew that these are results that I could really work with. So today I'm going to be showing you all my experience. We do have pets in our house as well as two toddlers. So it can get rather messy to say the least. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, then stick around and keep on watching. So to start off with, the Rug Doctor was super simple to put together. It was really easy to fill up. You just pop the water in, up until the line, fill the detergent into the lid, pour it in and screw the cap back on. Honestly, so easy. And then you pop it back into the Rug Doctor and away we go, ready to rumble. So to start off with, I'm upstairs in the bedroom and there is a really annoying mascara stain on our carpet. So I'm going to tackle it first with the OxyPower stain remover. I'm going to pop that on for a few minutes. We dabbed the stain really gently and before our eyes, literally, it vanished. Can you see that? And that is after one application of the Rug Doctor stain remover. What? We actually didn't think it'd work that well. And then in my Rug Doctor, I have the carpet detergent that cleans, deodorizes, rejuvenates and protects. Cause I'm hoping it protects from anything else like that happening again. That's all the dirty water it picked up from our carpet. And look at all that hair it's collected. So there is an obvious line where it has been done and where it hasn't been done. So it's not a huge colour change like we said, but definitely a lot cleaner. So simple to empty each time. You turn the lid round and pour it all out. Look at the grime from half of our bedroom carpet. Look at all that pet hair, it's gross. Now we're gonna go on to doing the stairs. This is our high traffic area. So we are gonna give the high traffic cleaner a little whirl and then run the rug doctor over it to see what the results are for here. This is where the pets run up and down continuously. As well as Tom with his shoes, regardless of how many times I tell people not to go upstairs with their shoes on. So let's give it a whirl. You spray it all over the high traffic area. It's really simple to put this attachment in. You just pop one end in the tank and then the tool spray connection into there and lock it. Switch it on and you are ready to go. With our carpet being cream, I didn't think it was actually that dirty, but you can literally see the carpet change colour and the rug doctor suck up all the dirt before your eyes. Now that is one of the steps before and after. Your right side is before and your left side is after. Literally, it looks like a brand new carpet. And next up, we have the Fabric Cleaner Oxy Power for the Rug Doctor, and I'm gonna try that on the sofa. The sofa is notoriously bad. When we first got it last year, we made a rule of no eating, no drinking on the sofa. Let me know if you have been in that position before. Never laugh and there are stains everywhere on it. So let's see if it can lift the stains. The only downside I'd say to the Rug Doctor is it can be quite noisy, but it needs all that power to help suck up the dirt. And it doesn't take long, so I really didn't mind it. And this is where the stains were on the sofa. As you can see, they're not actually really visible anymore. And that is the dirty water from the sofa. Oh. And that's all that we're cleaning with the Rug Doctor today. I hope you liked my review. And if you did, I'd love it if you could subscribe. Come join the Mother Bird blog family. I'd like to say thank you to the Rug Doctor for sending me all the chemicals and the Rug Doctor itself. 
I would actually buy one if I wasn't sent one for the pure fact of how much dirt I've seen come out of my house. It makes me feel a bit gross beforehand. How did I live like that? It's something that I wouldn't use every day. I have not enough time in the day for that. But I would use quite often, especially on the sofa for having young children. It is an essential, I think. Just like that, I'm gonna wave my magic rug dots and wand and farewell to you all. I love you all and I hope to see you all on my channel. Bye.